Okay, second epiphany of the day. We're always talking about what resonates with us. And everybody's like, what the hell does that mean? And we're like, you know, what vibes with you? What sounds right? What feels right? It's actually the simplest way to explain it is it's what is familiar to you. For example, you buy all these books because you're, you connect with them. You want to know more about them. But then you never read them. You book all these courses online or podcasts or seminars or whatever. Maybe it's sound baths. Who knows what it is. But you book them, you pay for them, and then you don't use them. Because you didn't really need them for anything except that connection. That familiar, familiarity. It feels familiar. Because you know it. And that reconnection is another step in your spiritual evolution to coming back to self and realizing who you are. You already know all of that stuff. That's why you didn't bother to read the books or show up for the podcast or whatever it was. You already know it. You purchased it because it feels familiar. That's what it means for things to resonate with you. What is on your vibe is what speaks to your soul as truth, as who you really are at your core. All the way back. All the way back to the beginning. You know, we talk about past lives and maybe you were a healer in a past life. So people that do healing things doctors or, or whatever, you know, herbologists, they are someone that you are drawn to. You want to know more about. You want to learn more about this. Maybe you want to become one because it's a familiarity. Because this is that time in our life, in our lifetimes, that we pick up all of the splintered, fragmented pieces and we put them back together. And we become truly whole, in a sense, again. Whole in our peacefulness of our being. Whole in the existence of the experience. Whole enough that we can enjoy this beautiful world around us. Look at how beautiful the world is. And we sit in crap, crap feelings, crap conditions, crap jobs, whatever, crap, crap relationships. We sit in crap. It's time to come home. To self and each other.